I have cat hair on my face. Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, it's Friday, God, I still have cat hair on my face. So I finished work about noon today and went straight to the mall because Friday afternoon or any weekday afternoon really is the best time to go to the mall. Just as an FYI, if you're looking to go when there aren't a lot of people out and there's still cat hair on my nose. <laughs> there's one too many cats around. There's just too much cat hair flying everywhere. So I went to pick out an outfit for something that's happening this weekend, which I will show you later. Um, I have a few different clothing things to show you, so I figure I'll just do it in this video. It sounds like a plan. Um, and I also went to West Elm and picked up a couple of like homeware thingamajigs. So I can show you that later too, but right now I just feel like sitting. I played a little with the cats who've been at home napping all day and oh my god, it's really windy out. Sorry, I cannot pay attention today. Um, but last night I ran out of things to watch. Um, I, every show that I'd recorded over the week, um, I'd watched on Tuesday and Wednesday. So last night I had nothing to watch, so I watched episode one of, is it The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? Pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, the Amazon, I think it's an Amazon original. And it looked pretty cute. I think I like it. It's always kind of hard to tell with the first episode, especially for me, I have a hard time like getting into new shows. Um, but I liked the first episode, so I'm going to continue watching it while I sit here and um, eat some chocolates because this is the kind of day that I need to have today. So I figured I would sit down. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's only like 6.30 and I am super tired. Uh, that's what happens when you sit in front of a TV and just watch it for hours on end. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd show you a couple of the things. Oh, there's a cat. Hello. <laughs> I thought I'd sit down and show you a couple of the things that I bought today. And also, I guess I'll just grab this box really fast. <laughs> um, this is all the stuff that I got from my latest box of Stitch Fix stuff. Excuse you. Can you not? So I guess I can show you and just give you kind of my thoughts on the whole Stitch Fix thing and go into that whole story in a second. So I went to West Elm, as I tend to do, and I got this big blanket that I did not bring up here, but it's just a gray, like, knitted blanket. It's great. I love their blankets. But I also bought this small little jewelry box because I have a lot of like ring, the little like trays. You know what I'm talking about? It's little like glass or ceramic like trays to put jewelry in. But my cat right here <laughs> really loves to knock them out of the tray. And I've lost, I can't even tell you how many rings because of it. So I thought I'd take precautions. <laughs> and buy something like this. So it is a little big, but it was the smallest one they had and I feel like it's just gonna work because it has a lid and it locks. Um, so I can leave it on my dresser or on my bathroom sink. And then um, Anthropology was having a sale today and I don't normally go in there. I can't remember, well, I shouldn't say that. I go in there a lot for homeware items. I don't buy clothes from them very often, but I was looking for something nice to wear to a first communion. So. It's been pretty warm, so I felt like I could wear a dress or something, but I didn't want it to be anything like super short. I wanted it to be comfortable. Um, so I ended up picking up this one. It's super cute. It looks like this. It's a very like reddish, like faded red, almost a pink color. And obviously it has the stripes and these little like dots. And it's nice and tight at the top. And then it has all the buttons going down and it goes to like about knee length. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like that. So I feel like this would just be really cute with maybe a denim jacket or a cardigan, um, maybe some sandals or possibly Keds if I feel like I can get away with it. Um, and I just felt like that would be good. It's a really cute like springy, summery, just like easy to throw on dress and I really liked it. And I didn't need this. <laughs> this isn't actually something I would normally buy um, or wear to be honest, but it really caught my eye and I really loved the colors and I feel like this is easy to wear because it's just a tank top. <laughs> it has like this funky detail thing, <laughs> but this purple and like bright orange, I just think is so pretty. It has two straps, crosses in the back. Um, I just thought, I mean like, is this just not like such a pretty tank top? I mean, <laughs> I don't normally buy like fancy tank tops, but I just felt like this was really cute and really pretty and I loved the colors. They're so like spring, summer. <laughs> I don't normally buy colors, so those were like 
really out of the box for me. All right, now on to Stitch Fix stuff. Um, I had planned to do an unboxing, but I kind of forgot when I got this yesterday, so apologies for that. Because I haven't filmed videos in a while, I haven't told you guys about the first time that I got a Stitch Fix box about a month ago. <laughs> um, but originally my mom did it first, and she had like a discount code because she was a member and she really liked it. So she said, if you want to try it, I think I can give you like, I think it was like $15 off maybe. Which if you don't know how Stitch Fix works, um, I don't want to sit here and like explain the whole thing to you. But essentially you pay $20 every month um, of a styling fee. So you have like a personal stylist pick out clothes for you. Um, you have to fill out like a whole profile, put in all your sizes. And then basically they send you five items. It can be clothes, bags, jewelry, shoes, everything. And if you don't buy anything, all you pay for is the $20 styling fee. But if you do buy things, then that $20 is discounted from what you do buy. So if I look through these five things, I keep one shirt that's $50. They charge me $30 and that's it. Um, or if I buy all five things in the box, I think you get like 25% off or something, but the first time that I did it, um, I was uh, about it. <laughs> Mostly because I gave them a lot of information, like I had a huge, I still have, a huge Pinterest board of clothing items and, um, well, clothing items, fashion, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. I have tons of stuff pinned on that board, so I gave them that link as like, here's some inspiration, you know? This is the stuff that I like, there's so much here. Um, and I was really disappointed because they sent me, it was like a pair of Tom's boots, um, a like basic pair of denim jeans, a tank top that was not as cute as this one, <laughs> um, a really thick gray sweater, um, and kind of like a thin light gray, um, like long sleeve t-shirt hoodie kind of thing. Hi, Winnie Fred, hi. You're not around very often, are you? Hi, Winnie. So I ended up keeping the gray cardigan and the like gray <laughs> hoodie thing just because they were like casual pieces. They weren't super expensive um, and I wear them a lot actually, but they weren't like out of my comfort zone in any way. Um, they were things that I would typically buy, things that I have similar items to in my closet. So nothing like out of the box. I sent back the jeans because I didn't need another pair of jeans. Why are you licking my pants? I sent back the tank top because meh. And I sent back the shoes. Um, I was mediocre about them. I wasn't really sure that I wanted to keep them anyway. They weren't really my style, but I found that they were also 50% off on the Tom's website. So I was like, even if I did like these, I'm not gonna buy them at full price when I could get them at half price. So I ended up sending three out of five things back. Um, and I said in like my comments <laughs> that I'm happy to, you know, get out of the box a little bit, like everything that I got was really basic. Um, and I'm like, you know, I have a lot of clothes, so I'd rather get stuff that's more like out of my comfort zone. I don't know, you guys. I mean, I don't hate any of it. Like I, it's just not me, I guess. It's like, I think a lot of the stuff is cute. I'm just kind of meh about it. So one thing I got was this bracelet, which I get, I don't hate, but I don't feel the need to keep. Like, I just know I won't wear that, so. Then I got this little crossbody bag, which I'm actually considering keeping. Um, it's only like $30, and I actually went on the website of this um, brand, whatever it is, Urban Expressions, and they have a lot of really cute bags, some that I like more than this, so I'm kind of like, do I keep this one, or do I send it back and get one that's a little more unique and different? <laughs> this is a green button-down, like, flannel. Pretty basic. Um, this would actually be totally up my street, except I have one that looks just like this. It's really cozy, it fits really well, so I'm a little bummed that I already have one, but whatever. <laughs> it happens. Then I got this dress, and this is actually something I'm considering keeping. I'm kind of on the fence about it because I like the look of it, um, but it's also not totally my style. It kind of is, and also I just don't know where I would wear it. Can you stop licking things? But it's really cute because it has this like scalloped top. And it's a short dress. Um, it has scalloped pockets, if you can see that. Um, and it has a little keyhole in the back with two buttons. And then the last thing I got, I actually, I like this, but I just, I would only wear it if I were like going on vacation, which I'm not going to like a beach vacation anytime soon. So I'm kind of like, I really don't feel the need to buy this, but I don't hate it. Um, it's a maxi dress. It's like this blue cotton at the top. And then this floral, 
pattern at the bottom and it has a slit down the side. Again, it has kind of the keyhole in the back. Um, it's really comfortable, it fits really well, and again, I would really like this if I like lived in Florida or <laughs> I was going on a beach vacation sometime soon, but I'm also like, I live in Indiana, I don't have anywhere to wear that. I mean, I don't want to sit here and like bash Stitch Fix because I think it's good. I think like they haven't failed at all. I think what I'm finding out is I just like picking out my own clothes. And it makes me wonder, especially because like I recommend if you do it, Google everything that's in your box and see one, if there's a price online somewhere, if it's on sale, if you can get like a discount at that store, like go for it. Um, I would do that personally, but I think um, I found that a lot of the stuff is either retail only or it's a Stitch Fix exclusive, which I understand, but it also confuses me because it's like then I can't price check it and you can give them, I mean nothing I got was super expensive because I gave them like a price cap on everything, like how much I would theoretically spend on like a shirt or jeans or whatever, but I don't like the idea that they could charge me $70 for a shirt that they got for $30. Um, I mean, I guess any store could do that, but I don't know. I'm not sure that I'll keep doing this one. If you are curious about any other, um, like, fashion styling boxes, though, if there are any other ones that you've heard of that you think might be good, um, I think I'm happy to try them out unless they're super expensive. So if there's anything you're curious about but you didn't want to splurge on it, let me know, um, and I'll consider trying it for you. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, that's my, um... That's my clothing haul. <laughs> so this is the dress. How do we feel about it? Um, it does have pockets somewhere here. <laughs> um, it's a little out of my comfort zone just because I only have like one other dress that's this long. Um, but I do like that dress, so what do we think? I think I like it. thing to wake up to. trying to decide whoa it's really blue um I'm currently trying to decide if it is spring slash summer enough to start moving my sweaters out of this closet and throwing in more summery stuff I mean it's supposed to be like 70s all this next week maybe some 60s but I don't think it's supposed to drop down to like 50s 40s anytime soon I don't know I'm afraid to like be hasty about it and regret it <laughs> but in all reality, it moves from here to there, so not super far of a transition, but I just don't know. I should theoretically get rid of a lot of the stuff I have, so I'm kind of wondering if I should just wait and get rid of things, or, god, I don't know. Um, I hadn't intended this to be a closet clear out day, but now I'm kind of wondering if it should be. Actually, what I should probably do is wait and go to the grocery store. It's almost nine o'clock, so I should probably just go to the grocery store this morning, get that over with, and then decide later. Um, I also decided, just as an update from yesterday, I'm going to keep this blue dress from the Stitch Fix box and the little um, crossover crossbody bag. Everything else is going back, so I think at this point, I'm going to just get rid of it, and by get rid of it, I mean cancel my subscription. I don't think I need to keep getting this box. I really hate going to the grocery store. I'm dreading this so much. <laughs> I just put a load of laundry in the washer, so I feel like now is probably a good time to go. I'm never quite in the mood. 
for the grocery store. It's my least favorite thing to do of all time. And I dread it constantly. So it's off to run some more errands, um, but I just want to quickly show you Winnie's positioning right now. Winnie, what are you doing? What's up, kitty? Are you comfy? <laughs> are you comfortable? Yeah. Just relaxing. Getting a nice nap in. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> All right, off to Target and PetSmart and many other places we go. So it is a beautiful day outside. I mean, it was sunny here this morning. Um, it looks like some clouds have popped up since then, but um, it's a really nice day. So what I did was I went to Barnes and Noble and I picked up this book, which is written by the same author who wrote Love, Simon, or Technically, um, Simon versus the Homo sapiens agent <laughs> made into a movie called Love, Simon. I've talked about this many times before. I'm currently in the middle of reading another book, which I'm not sure if I've told you guys about. Probably not, but it's a nonfiction book, which I always move through very slowly. So I was kind of in the mood for something that I could just read through super quick. Um, that was just a little more like fun <laughs> rather than intellectual or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I picked this up. I think it just came out, so I think I'm gonna sit outside and just read for a little while. I wish it was sunnier, but it's warm enough that I put shorts on <laughs> so everyone outside can see my pasty legs. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Have I showed you guys um, the sunglasses that I got for my birthday? They are Ray-Bans and they're really cool because they're gold, but they have this like white around the lenses and they have like a blue reflect. I really like them. How do we feel? Cool? Not cool? All right guys, I think that's gonna be all for this video. What do you think, Winnie? <laughs> it's getting late, I think I'm gonna go shower. I have an early morning tomorrow, so uh, this is where we say goodbye. <laughs> Winnie, are you okay? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye! I can't be that boring, can I? <laughs>